It is June the 2nd, 2015, and the auditorium of the National Library in Pristina will soon be greeting a solid group of dignitaries, international and Kosovo government officials, as well as students and other people involved in one of the biggest academic and professional programs in post-war Kosovo. It is 10 years of Young Cell Scheme, the EU postgraduate scholarship program for Kosovo, aiming at contributing to the creation of an effective, efficient and transparent public administration in Kosovo at all levels. It is a challenging yet rewarding program for everyone involved, including its past and present team leaders. I had the opportunity to uh, uh, better understand what Kosovo is, how a, a process of state building and uh, of transition is working, especially by, uh, um, let's say, a, a very favorite uh, point of view. I mean, I worked for years at the university, but I never had the opportunity to see this linkage, this uh, uh, direct link between uh, higher education and public administration. What I think can make uh, Kosovo progress uh, and prosper above all uh, is uh, its own people, their determination, their resilience, their capacity to um, and their and their and their vision for a better future. People are slowly arriving to rejoice in the celebrations of what was a productive and engaging decade. Managed by the European Union office in Kosovo and implemented by the British Council. YCS aimed at improving the professional capacity and expertise of civil servants in key sectors of the Kosovo public administration by offering the opportunity to Kosovan graduates to undertake postgraduate master's program in EU universities in order to support the Kosovo government to meet the obligations arising from the EU integration process. From the perspective of a former YCS grantee, I would say that this scholarship was one of the best experiences in my life as it provided me with the opportunity to gain uh, professional knowledge and obtain a professional expertise from a top uh, level university in Europe. As someone that has highly benefited from the Young Cell Scheme program, uh, the program has uh, actually allowed me to uh, improve my professional uh, expertise and my uh, professional capacity as well. Uh, therefore, allowing me to uh, transform my personal life as well as now proudly so being able to transform the lives of those around me. A total of around 250 grants were awarded since YCS's initiation in fields ranging from EU law and economics to European affairs and public policy. Some 85% currently work for the government of Kosovo at various levels and offices, with many serving at the Ministry for European Integration as well as independent authorities like the Central Bank. The program has had huge impact uh, in terms of reforming public administration and co has contributed in uh, today basically revolutionizing the public administration in Kosovo, where key position within public administration has uh, been occupied uh, by the Young Cell Scheme students. The whole experience and the whole of the change of mentality and behavior that occurs while you live in the EU then would also be applicable to Kosovo and that would make the project's impact even wider than just the government. The process of selection of candidates, from pre-notice for the call for application to the publication of final results, abides to the principles of fairness, transparency and non-discrimination. The Young Cell Scheme is open to all sectors of Kosovo society and it has always encouraged participation from minorities, women and people with disabilities. I am very proud to be a part of uh, the program. This is the first year that the Young Cell Scheme is implementing in North municipalities, Mitrovica, Zvechan, Zubin Potok and Lepusevic. Talking about the Young Cell Scheme project, it's an honor and responsibility as well. We have young students, ambitious and willing to strive for more and uh, ready to accept the responsibilities and work for the country after they come back from studies abroad. As the Kosovo Prime Minister and other speakers greet the audience and give their perspective on the importance of YCS in the development of Kosovo society, Proud alumni listen and reflect on present and future roles in their professional careers. Top-level EU and Kosovo officials are thrilled with what the students have achieved thus far and with the positive impact they have on Kosovo as a whole. As a result of this uh, project, uh, 
uh, hundreds of people, young people from Kosovo have benefited so far and we are delighted that all of them uh, now contribute and work for the Kosovo institutions both on central and local level. We are now using the Young Cell Scheme model and we will deploy it in the other Western Balkan countries. So it's not a pilot or a prototype anymore, it's 10 years old, but it's going to be the example for similar schemes across the entire region. It is one day after the big event, and the alumni are gathered once again to participate in a focus group exercise aimed at learning in more depth of YCS's impact in the last 10 years and the direction it should take in the future. One thing is however certain. Young Cell Scheme, through its alumni and their professional endeavors, will definitely help pave Kosovo's path towards further development and European integration. It's a project that uh is tangible, it's long-term, it has uh, been an investment in human capital which will stay in Kosovo and I think uh, it will be re remembered as one of the uh, key projects because of, of the people that will remain and continue contributing to Kosovo society.